Hello and welcome to another Height Vision video tutorial. In this video we will be learning how to set up and configure everyday functions for your recorder using the web interface. To begin, you will need a computer and a method to connect your computer to your recorder. This can be done by either directly attaching an Ethernet cable to your recorder, or by connecting your computer to the same network as the recorder. Once connected, you can run our SADP tool to discover your device. If your device is not appearing on the SADP tool, then it is likely that you are either not connected with one of the two prior methods, or that your computer may be blocking certain aspects of the software. Once the device does show up, it may show as inactive. If it does, simply select the checkbox next to the recorder and enter your password to activate it. Channel password refers to the password that your cameras will be expected to be on in order for plug and play to work. Once activated, you can set its IP address to be accessible by your PC. If it is connected to your network, it is generally okay to enable DHCP and let the recorder find its own IP address. Once you have the IP, simply type it into a web browser and navigate to the splash screen. Once logged in, enter system configuration, then network configuration, then network parameter. Here you can make additional changes to your network settings if necessary including toggling DHCP on or off, setting a static IP address, changing your preferred and alternate DNS, and more. Next, we'll configure our time settings. Just go to System Configuration, then Time Configuration. In general, it is usually okay to just sync your recorder's time to your computer. However, you can also sync it to an NTP server if you would prefer. We would recommend using one of the NTPs on screen, but you can use whichever one you prefer. After configuring your network settings, you can proceed to the Height Connect tab, Height Connect is Height Vision's app for remote viewing via mobile phones. Previous firmware versions had the Height Connect options in the Platform Access tab, but as of 5.0 it has become its own menu category. Here, you can enable the service by clicking the toggle, then you can create your verification code. The verification code, also known as the encryption key, is a secondary password that the Height Connect service will ask for when first connecting to your device. Unlike your primary password, if you ever forget what your verification code is, you can enter the Height Connect menu and simply click the eyeball icon to reveal and modify it at any time. Next, we enter Storage Management, then Storage HDD. Here we can see the status of our hard drive as well as initialize it if necessary. When installing a new drive, it is typically recommended to initialize it. However, please keep in mind that by initializing it, you will erase all data currently on the drive. Prior to initialization, you'll want to make sure that anything that you don't want deleted has been backed up first. Now we'll add our cameras. Enter the device access section, then click on video device. If your cameras are brand new or you initialized and plugged directly into your recorder's PoE ports, then the recorder should bring the cameras in on its own. If the cameras don't come up, there is usually a status message explaining why. In this example, we can see that our camera was previously activated and has a password that is different than what the channel password of the recorder is. To resolve this, select the camera and enter the correct password. If you do not know the password, you will need to perform a password reset on the camera. If all went well, it should now say online. With your cameras working, we'll now need to configure their recording schedule. Head on over to Storage Management, then Storage Schedule and Video Devices. By default, the cameras will be set to all day continuous. This means that the cameras will be recording 24 seven regardless of if the cameras see anything or not. Your second option is to set them on an event recording schedule. This will mean that the cameras will only record when an event such as motion or line crossing is triggered. You can also set a custom schedule for instances where you only need recordings during certain days or times of days. If you choose to go with event-based recording, you will need to set up an event for your cameras. First, head to Event Center, then Event Configuration. Once here, simply enable your event, then click on Draw Area, and draw the areas you wish your camera to detect. Typically for motion detection, you would select the entire field of view, but in some situations, it may be useful to be more selective based on your needs. Set your sensitivity, then hit Save, and your event will be configured. You can then enter linkage action to determine what if any extra actions are taken by your recorder when the event gets triggered. Notify Surveillance Center will send notifications to your Height Connect app. Pop-up window will trigger a pop-up on your recorder's live view. Buzzer will cause the recorder to audibly beep. 
and send email will send an email notification. Please note that email notifications will require additional configurations to work properly. Finally, once your recorder is fully configured to record, we can view and export recorded footage in the playback menu. Once in playback, select the camera you want, hit the download button, then select either download by date or download by file. Download by date will allow you to specify the time code you wish to download footage from. Download by file will download specific events and chunks of footage. Select your camera, hit search, then hit download, and you should now begin downloading your playback. If at any time during this tutorial you found certain options either missing or not functioning, it may be related to the internet browser you are accessing the recorder from. In general, the best way to access your recorder's web interface will be from the Microsoft Edge browser with Internet Explorer compatibility mode enabled. If you aren't sure how to do that, just open up the Edge browser, click the three dots at the top right of the screen, click on Settings, then Default Browser. Here you'll want to set Allow Sites to be reloaded in Internet Explorer mode to allow. Then restart your browser, navigate back to your recorder, click the three dots at the top right again, and this time select Reload in Internet Explorer mode. At this point you may be prompted to allow the Hike Vision Web Components plugin to run on your browser, or you may be prompted to download and install the plugin. Proceed with either option and afterwards you should now have full functionality in the web browser. Thank you for watching this Hike Vision video tutorial about setting up your Hike Vision network video recorder for the first time, as well as performing basic everyday functions. Please be sure to leave a like if this video helped you and subscribe for more Hike Vision video tutorials. If there is anything we missed or if you feel like anything needs to be explored further, please leave a comment and let us know what you would like to see next. Your feedback is valuable to us.